Many people have asked for waterfall scenes, so here is a very beginner basic waterfall painting. I'm going to do a couple strips of sky blue at the top with some white, and then I'm going to dip right into some brown. We're going to create a cliff right in the center of our picture. That's what our water is going to fall off of. And then at, there's gonna be water at the bottom that the waterfall is falling into. So use your bright blue and green blue. You'll have three strips of color then. And then dry it for this next step because we're going to add some water. I'm gonna use white paint on a round brush and do kind of a curved line. It can be a little wavy that starts at the top, curves over and splashes down into the water. You can do as many as you want. It can be a really thick waterfall or a really thin waterfall, but don't worry if there's brown showing through towards the, the center. You don't want it to be a big white strip. It's okay because maybe there's some rocks and things that are underneath. See that? It's okay to see some of it peeking through. Then to fix up the bottom of my waterfall, I'm going to take the same brush and a little bit of the blue color I used for the water and do back and forth strokes to blend that in. That ends up looking like ripples because the water is falling down into the water. You can do it brighter towards the center. And then I'm gonna bounce my brush with even more white. These are your splashes. So you can make as many splashes as you want. Very similar to doing clouds. You don't want it to be all perfectly straight, but it's kind of chaotic if you've ever been to a waterfall. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of those. If you do too much, don't worry. You can always blend it back back in with some of that watercolor or even white. I added more ripples. See, I'm gonna make mine even stronger. This is a big waterfall, so it needs more splashes. There you go, have fun with it. Now I'm also gonna take another round brush and some brown paint again and add some rocks at the very bottom. This also helps to frame your eye upward so the waterfall is the focus of your painting. Using my sponge, I'm going to take some dark green and light green. You know how there's always trees around a waterfall in nature. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of this, just bouncing my sponge. It's even growing up into the sky. I'm doing it on either side of my waterfall. Don't worry if a little bit goes in front of your waterfall because you know the, the leaves aren't going to avoid it. <laughs> and uh, also make sure you have some on those rocks. Now taking a detail brush, I'm going to do a couple little lines or grasses coming out from those rocks. You'd be able to see those more. Those are stems for some flowers. And you'd be able to see them because they're closer to you. I'm going to add some pink flowers, use a dark and a light shade of a color. And I'm just gonna use the side of my detail brush, press down all the way and pull up like a stamp on the top of those stems makes it look like tulips or any kind of wildflower really. You don't even have to do them on stems. You can do a little bit in just different areas of the green. I like to add color. This always makes the painting come to life. I'm also gonna add little dots all over the green in different areas. Don't space them out evenly, but do little clumps. There you go, because in nature it's not perfectly organized. <laughs> and you can even add dots of white in the center of those as well as highlights. And there you go, that's a very, very beginner basic waterfall painting. Have fun.